Okay, I'm Mr. Kirkovic, and this is a video tutorial for uh, Grade 8 Art on uh, Introduction to Using Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get this file here from the server, which I'll show you in class where it can be found. And it's titled Illustrator Pen Tool Prac 1, and it's a TIFF file. And you'll want to drag that to your desktop because we're going to be using it. And next thing is you're going to open Adobe Illustrator, which is this uh, icon here located in the dock. And if it's not located in the dock, you can go up to the spotlight here and just start typing in Illustrator. Just give it a click to open. And you'll have something like this. Uh, you might have a um, dialog box where you have the choice of opening uh, a template in something, but all you're going to need to do is go to File and go to New. Just type in a title, uh, we'll call it Prac1, and then put your last name, first initial, and we're going to be uh, using A4 size, and you'll see it's in points here, and you can also change that to inches, etc. Uh, and make sure that you have it on CMYK and the raster effect as high. And you're just going to click OK. And you'll see you have the A4 document open like this. It's in CMYK preview mode. And you see you have a toolbox over here as well as over here. If yours looks a little bit different, you can go to Window Workspace. You see if I click that, it will change and I'm just going to keep it to the essentials there and you see it's closed and I can just click those little triangles to open or to put it in a single column view or in a double column view uh, next thing we're going to want to do is get that TIFF file and put it in here now what I can do is simply click and drag this over but it might be good practice for you to go into file <clears throat> excuse me place and search where the document it is, or the TIFF file is, and it's right here. And I'll click place, and you see it pops up here. And if I just click outside, those blue lines will go away. And I'm going to go down here to the layers box, and you see this is the layer that I'm working with right here. And I'm also going to go here to create a new layer so that we can draw on top. And on this layer, I'm going to click this little box here to lock it so that I it can't move around and what we're going to want to do is first you see I have all the instructions here now if I press the command key which is uh, the key located next to the spacebar if I press command key and plus you see you can zoom in and then just scroll around to wherever you need to go and of course command minus minimizes that. So I'm going to zoom in a bit here because we do have the instructions written in, to, in this with us. So the first thing you're going to want to do is select this pen tool which is located over here and you see this little button has a triangle there so if you click and hold that you'll see there are a few other options to use and we're just going to simply click with the pen tool stick with that and then we're going to need to come over to this area and you see you have two boxes here and one is the fill and one is the stroke and those can also be found over here you see the fill and the stroke we're not going to be using a fill so I'm going to select that to none we're going to change the line color to red so it's just easily can easily be seen when we're drawing and then we need to go to the stroke panel and change the weight of the stroke to 3. So you see the stroke panel is here and currently right now I'm using 1. I'm just going to pump that up to 3 there. Now if we're ever drawing, let's see if I go like this and I make a mistake, you can go edit and undo which is Apple Z or Command Z. So I'm just going to click Command Z, click it again and it's gone. You should really keep that uh, little shortcut in the back of your mind. It, Command Z, it's a lot, it'll be a lot faster for you when creating some of your work. So what we're going to do here, it says click on click the red dot on the first line and hold the shift key. This will make the line perfectly straight. Click again on the second red dot to complete the line. 
So it doesn't matter if you start here or here. And if I just click there and I hold shift, you will see it makes a straight, straight line for me. I'm going to do Command Z there again. So click, hold down shift, and I'm just going to bring it right down to there. And there's my straight line. Now I want to do the second line. Now you'll see if I click again on this second line here, you see that connects. So I'll undo that. And to get rid of that connection, you have to hold down the command key and click away from the lines to deselect. So hold down the command key again, and I'm just going to click away. And you see I can do it now. Hold down the shift key. And there it is. Command, click away. Go here, hold down the shift key, and do that. And I'll press command and click away again. And you should practice that with all of these lines here. Now the shift key, making straight lines, also makes horizontal lines, as you can see there. So it's a pretty neat tool. If you use the shift, and if I click, you see there's a straight line there. And now command and outside click. So the shift key can make straight lines vertical or uh, horizontal and it can also make it diagonal so we'll just undo those so please practice all of these don't forget to hold down the command key and click away to start a new line and then we'll go on to creating curve lines <clears throat> this time click the red start dot here and drag the mouse along the handle line which is this here and then you're going to click again on this line drag along here click again here drag upwards this way so it's going to be like here I'm clicking and I'm holding the click and I'm going up like this and I'm going to click here hold the click go along that way, I'm going to click here, hold the click again, and drag along the line. Straighten that a bit. Okay, now remember, we need to do the command click if we want to start a new line. So I have the three starting points here, but no handle line. So I'm just click, drag, I can just use the top one as to guide me. Click, drag that, click and drag again and again command click to start the new line and you can do the same with these three here now next one you'll be creating some arches don't forget again press command key and click away to start a new line you're going to start on this blue dot here, and you're going to hold the click, and you're going to drag upwards along this handle line to the red dot. You can use the shift shift line for that, or the shift key for that. Then you're going to click on this blue line and drag downwards. So I'll just show you here. So I click, drag up, then I'll click, and this one I'll hold down the shift key. And there you see. And then I'll do the command click out here. Now to create double arches, it's a bit more tricky. I'm going to do as previous. We're going to click, drag it up. Just hold down the shift. And then I'm going to click here, drag down, and I'm still holding the mouse key, mouse key. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the option key. I've let go now, but I'm still holding down the option key, and I'm going to click and drag this handle up here, and I've let go. Now I can click and drag down here for this one. And then, of course, command key to do that. So let me just show you again, because that can get a bit confusing. So click, I'm going to hold down shift and just go up. Oops, sorry. I'm going to click. 
Now you see I've skipped a step there, so please be careful when uh, following along. Am I doing the right thing? Mm, you need to make sure. So I'm clicking up, then I will be clicking here. Coming down to about here, then remember I'm going to hold down the Option key, which is next to the Command key. And I can let go of the mouse now, but I'm holding down the Option, and I'm going to drag the handle up. And I can let go, click here, drag down. And then Command, click to exit. And then you can try these ones too, and we'll see how we go after that.